my view on this is um, Super LCCs, as, as well as um, any local community contract, should have the, the benefit of uh, some, some help early on to, to enhance uh, competitiveness um, in, in our uh, blocks that we, we operate in. Um, I think you know, that's for the short term to, to, to help um, get started. Over the long term, I think it fosters more competitiveness, uh, the, the more players that are um, in the industry uh, providing services and uh, you know, competing on a, a global level. We've uh, awarded $4.9 billion of activity of investments to locally. So the Super LCCs have had a lot of support, as indeed another 200 local community companies that have been incubated over the years. Let's all go back to the objective why the Super LCCs were set up initially. They were set up to create more opportunities and benefits for a wider group of local communities that are living in and around the concession areas. So today, collectively, the four super LCCs, they represent more than 10,000 shareholders. These are citizens from the local communities in the concession areas. And if we look at the measures that have been taken to support the super LCCs uh, in their initial stages, um, these are actually not unique or they are uh, not strange to any other parts of the world where they're trying to develop local ability, build up uh, local services. And um, as part to the, to the question is, do we have a share of that buy? Yes, we have a share of that buy, you know, thanks to all the sponsoring parties, whether it is uh, PDO, Oxy, and you know, the Ministry of Oil and Gas. And it was a very uh, good uh, idea and strategy from the government how to save and how to minimize that it's not happening like Nigeria. I appreciate it to the government and to BDU and to Oxy and to all the operators. But I want here today, really, we are not talking about business here. First interaction with the uh, Super LCC was during some tendering stage, um, which they found to be odd. Um, I had the feeling when I met with some of the uh, Super LCC uh, that uh, it's an entitlement to give us that service. Uh, and that's scary because the Super LCC at the end, what, what I saw is becoming more of a monopoly. So you need more players in the game and the sense of entitlement is not there, should not be there. They, they've only taken what they can swallow. They probably covered Jival, maybe not all of it. I don't think they were doing the gas in Jival even. Uh, so it's, it's all performance based, but they needed something to start with. And if they don't demonstrate they are performing and competing, I don't think this incubation period will last. Is it working as a strategy? And are we seeing value? Are we seeing work giving to the LCCs? And are they close to sort of, we, we have the code and say, now you're on your own. It is uh, a national interest to engage uh, these people in, in, the, in the development of the economy. This should complement the existing local uh, oil and gas local industry. If I uh, look at uh, worker category, a number of things are prescribed as 100% should be Omani. Because of the uh, good conditions of working in the oil and gas industry compared to any other place, if to a large extent. Once you get to the, uh, to the, the real work, is where the difficulties start. Available, yeah? the people are not available. That is where we are failing at the moment. Getting the people and getting the people to stay in the competitive environment is our difficulty. I think the, the first thing which comes to my mind is the labor law or labor requirements. They made it so easy on contractors to achieve, I don't know, is it 20 or 30 percent humanization? With here, I will forget or put less attention to the, to the unskilled and the drivers, and I will ask companies. What is your humanization, let's say, in the top 50% of the jobs that we have? We just have to enforce the labor law. We haven't seen the statistics in terms of who are these people. Because 90%, if not more, are secondary school and below. So they naturally will go into the bottom part of the, of the funnel. They're not going to be the skilled, they're not going to be the technicians or the managerials. They're going to be, naturally, the drivers, the watchman 
and the laborers. Now, if these are the kind of jobs we're really pushing to, to harmonize, fine, we can harmonize them tomorrow, it's not a big deal. But these are not the people that will build the country. We cannot have the, the skill. And that's where we're failing because the products of the uh, technical colleges that we have in Oman are not meeting the, requ the requirement of the oil and gas industry. Uh, quantity, I think uh, we are doing good uh, with uh, the uh, operator. Um, the, in uh, Block 9 and 27, we are working with uh, uh, Occidental and we are achieving a very high uh, organization uh, uh, ratio. And uh, in Block 7 and 4, um, with uh, CCED, uh, also, uh, I think uh, our level of uh, organization is uh, high enough. Uh, Oman LNG, which we have uh, share, is also achieving a high ratio. Here in Oman, that is, uh, Oxy worldwide, it's a little bit different story. There's different circumstances in other, other countries, but uh, we're going uh, full steam ahead here in, in uh, Oxy Oman. And um, I, I think it's a, it's a real opportunity for all of us to uh, sharpen the pencil. You know, contractors like in drilling, okay, I think they have achieved more than 80%, okay, even at the technical, you know, professional and, you know, managerial. In Delil itself, okay, I think we're doing, you know, very good, okay, we've got a modification of 92, you know, percent. Um, companies being consolidated uh, on the service side, the Halbert and Baker Hughes acquisition, and the oil operators, Shell and BG. So when, when I look at it for the uh, LCCs or the local companies, I mean, we can expect the same thing to happen. In my mind, it all begins with some need that a business has and some innovation, differential work process or kind of competitive edge that fills that need. And, and I think to the extent that, that um, we can you know, work with local uh, companies to match those two things up. I, th I think we've had successes. We've had several examples of those where, um, you know, we'll, we'll pilot, say, uh, a certain scope of work for a certain period of time, and that alleviates the problem that you often have, that, that a, a local small company doesn't have the expertise built up or the technology yet. but. But they have the desire, and they have you know some background, they have some capabilities there, and we're willing to work with those companies to, to foster that innovation and that that uh, um, vision of, of becoming competitive. We need to be very transparent on who are you competing with, meaning who else have actually showed interest in this particular contract and bought the contract, so that everyone else know. I am actually competing with these players and therefore the game is going to be tough or it's going to be easy, whatever it is. They have the right to go and understand why did I fail, how can I learn, how can I improve and what can I do next time.